Do you find it's hard to get started with an important goal? For instance, you might want to build a business, write a book, or even lose weight. We all have goals in our lives, and sometimes it's just hard to know where to get started first. Well, one quick solution is to turn all of your goals into projects. And more specifically, you can take these projects and manage them all through the app called Todoist. Hi, my name is Steve Scott. I help creatives, online entrepreneurs, and the high achievers get real results with their work. And in this video, I'm going to give you a quick beginner's guide to creating and managing projects in Todoist. Let's get to it. First off, let's talk about why projects are important for your goals. So first off, it is easy to feel overwhelmed when you have a to-do list. We'll often write down items like write that book, build that business, uh, plan a vacation with our family, lose weight, things like that. You write them down and you look at them and you just feel like, I'm just overwhelmed by this. I just don't know where to get started. So we often procrastinate on them. So you'll see this item, you'll look at it and just say, I just can't take action on this. So you kick it forward to the next week and you do that the week after that. And next thing you know, it is a couple months later and you haven't taken action on this item. So an easy way to reduce the overwhelm is to take each of your goals and put them in very small chunks and turn them into projects. When it comes to projects, there are two basic types. The first type are goal specific projects. So these have a deadline or once you finish all the items on your to-do list, then the project is done and put to bed. So a few examples are writing a book. That's a project I do all the time. There are uh, certain seasonal projects like uh, completing your taxes, or there are things like just going on a trip with your family. Basically anything that has a definitive outcome is a goal specific project. Now if you want to learn more about goals, then I would definitely check out the video that I have in the description box of this particular video where I talk extensively about goals. The other type of projects are ongoing projects. So these are a set of tasks that you continuously add to and check off your list. So as an example, meal planning and just basically uh, feeding you, you and your family, that can be a continuous project. Um, I know from my personal example, running authority websites, the list of uh, tasks related to that is ongoing and it pretty much uh, never ends. And anything related to your career where there are items that you have to continuously do throughout the days, weeks, and months, and years for your particular job. So that is an example of continuous projects. So my advice is you want to create projects for every aspect of your life. So you should do this for your work, you should do this for your finances, you should do this even for your relationships and fun activities that you do, and you should also do this for your health. I would recommend creating a, a project for each one and continuously adding to that within the Todoist app. So as an example, I have multiple projects for every area of my life. I have projects for each of my books, I have projects for all my authority websites, I have projects for my finance, my health, and actually all these YouTube videos I'm creating, I have a project folder for those particular tasks. Again, the point is, is any major important area of your life, you want to create a project for that. So how do you create a project? Well, it's easy. You follow four simple steps. The first step is to do a complete brain dump of every task and activity related to that project or end goal and you just get out a piece of paper and write down every possible thing you need to get done. Really simple. The next step is to organize these actions into a step-by-step -step process. So that's just a simple matter of looking at this brain dump and just organizing them into a very logical order. The third step is to create each task so it only takes a few minutes to a few hours to complete. So the idea here is you don't want a task that's on your list that you're looking at and you say to yourself, oh, that's gonna take forever. You wanna turn it into something that you know you can complete in one or two sittings. And finally, you want to schedule these activities into your week. So really simple, just put it on your calendar and hopefully it will get done. So that was my preamble about creating projects. So let's dive into the actual Todoist app and I will show you how to accomplish all of these things. Okay, I am in my Todoist account and I'm gonna show you how to get started with projects. So right now, here's just a list of tasks I have to do for today, including record the Todoist video. But let's slide over here and you see the list of projects that I currently have. So I have a YouTube channel, obviously uh, creating these videos. Here is my list of daily, weekly, and monthly habits. Uh, here's my authority websites. Now I'm not gonna toggle that because I'm trying to keep my authority websites a little bit secret. Um, and then book projects, you can see I have just the one I'm working on, the Save Money book. 
And then there's just a couple other areas. So let's go to add a project. So I'm gonna do this from scratch just to show you how I typically go through the process. So go to add project. And we're gonna give this a project name. So we're just gonna say um, build an authority site. And just pick the project color. We'll just go, go let's go with magenta. That's good color. Okay, so you see that here, it shows up on your project list and you're going to just write down a bunch of tasks. Now, the idea, I, what I do wanna emphasize again, is you wanna make sure that you're getting as granular as possible. So you wanna create a, a list of tasks that only take you a few hours, maybe a day to complete tops. So you just wanna break it down into something that you can just quickly check off your list. So let's just go, let's see, brainstorm 10 I niche ideas. So that's the first one. And then you're gonna go research idea number one, add research idea number two. Add, um, you would obviously do this for all 10 of these. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Um, pick final topic. Brainstorm game name. Register domain. Purchase web hosting. I'll just do a few more because I'm sure you don't want to watch me list a uh, project that has 40 different steps. Okay. WordPress. Buy logo. Okay, I'll just keep. I'll just keep it to that. Let's see, buy logo. And let's just do one more. I'm sure I'm missing a number of steps um, in this whole process, but it, it really is. If you want to spill authority website, you just go through a whole list like this. And frankly, my list is usually about 100 items as long. So th that's the idea. That's this is how you would go about just creating a project list. So the end goal is to get a website up and running. You would have to complete all these steps and more. Now, let's just say I, I put these in a different order. So for instance, um, the per purchase uh, web hosting, maybe you would want to slide that up ahead and you could actually purchase web hosting um, instead of going out and buying domain name. Like sometimes they have a package where you can do web hosting and domain name. Um, it's not a great example, but the point being is you could basically reorder all this stuff in uh, whatever order you like. So maybe here I'll write the articles before I'm actually going out and building the website. That's, that's the kind of idea that I wanted to drive home. Now, for instance, uh, so let's actually just go into what you would do within these actual individual items. So you could go here and then perhaps you wanna get this done as soon as possible. So you could schedule this for today and you could put this on your calendar. And maybe this is an activity that you really wanna make sure that it's important so you could set a priority of today. Now, this is just the basic idea of how to get up and running by adding tasks. Now, if, this, if you're doing a project that you've done a few times, you could use what's called a template. So a template is just a series of action items that you've already identified, you know what process you need to follow, and you do a project on a regular basis. So as an example, I frequently write books. So instead of going out and creating this like 50 part list of the project that I have to do for writing books, I just open up a brand new project and I import a template of a template of steps that I, I've already identified. So let's just say, I book. Let's see. Not like I know anything, but YouTube marketing book. Let's just say that's the next book that I want to write. Okay, and we're just gonna put this as the red color because that's YouTube. So you see, it shows up down here. Now, what's neat is I already have a project list for this particular um, process. So let's see, where is the button? So you go up here and you would just import from template. You go to choose file and this should show up in my list of um, action items. So this is my book business folder, scrolling down here and let's just go book publishing checklist. You see it right there, you go to open and it's thinking over here and there you go. This is a laundry list of projects and, uh, sorry, tasks related to this one particular project. So you can see, think of a basic book idea, go to Amazon page to see the profit potential, pull my audience. And I really just do this giant list of action items and I just work my way through this process, 
where ultimately I launch a book and it's live on Amazon. It's, and you can see over here that this is a 79 part step. So a 79 step project. So that is a lot of tasks that I have to go from basic idea to getting a book onto Amazon. But the point here and the, the major point of this uh, video is to show you that if you have any major goal in your life, you want to turn into a project and the Todoist app is the perfect tool for that. So there you have it, a quick beginner's guide to creating and managing projects in Todoist. Now, if you'd like to learn more about this app, I provided a few links to different videos I've created about Todoist, and you can find them in the description box of this particular video. And if you would like to get more content about Todoist and other time management strategies, then be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, and that will help you become one of the first people to watch the next video when it comes out. Finally, I would love to hear your thoughts. Is Todoist part of your technology stack? What do you personally use to manage your time? Is there anything that I miss in this video? I would love to hear this and more, and if you'd like to leave a comment on this video, then be sure to do so. But if you're a private person and you just want to ask me a question directly, then I've also left a link to a survey at the bottom of this video. Just click the link and you can ask a question and hopefully it will get featured in a future video. Well, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time.